Hey guys, what's up and what's going down? How y'all doing today? It's the Dizzy One here, bringing you the first ever video here on 2K17. I'm so excited. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. But with that being said, I'm making a different kind of vid for you guys today. And it's a how to do a fantasy draft with a custom roster because at first it was a little bit tricky for me to get. It took a while for me to figure it out. Maybe if some of you guys are having that problem, then this is the video for you. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So first off, what you're going to want to do is go to the MyGM, My League setting, and click on My League. You can also click on My League Online, but right now we'll just stick to My League. Now that you've done that, you're going to see these three boxes that says Current NBA Teams, League Expansion, and Custom League. But before you click on any of those boxes, I did this five times, okay? And I couldn't figure it out how to get a custom roster. Down at the bottom of this screen right here, it says Use Custom Roster. It is so hard to see that when you're not focusing on what you want to do, when you just want to jump right in. So click on that, press triangle, and if you're if you're on Xbox, press Y, I believe, and then you're going to be able to select a custom roster. Once you click on that, this screen is going to pop up right here with all the rosters that you can choose from, and I made my own custom roster called Legends Fantasy Draft slash In Prime, and these are just all of the players that I wanted in the game, and hopefully, if you want, you could use this roster as well. There is a non-local um, form of it that you could download, but I'm going to go and pick that, and let's move on. All right, so once you select your roster, you're going to come back to this screen, and from here on, you can choose whichever one you want, but I'm going to go and select Custom League because, you know, I just want to customize my league and show you all the possibilities as much as possible. So this screen is going to pop up, and since we're using a custom roster, we're not going to be able to start in the offseason. So let's just move right along. And so we're going to go to this screen right here, and basically what this does, it shows you all the NBA teams that you want. But there's also some empty slots. But before we get into that, one thing I do want to say is you could swap which teams are in what conference, what division, by basically clicking on them and choosing swap team. Basically. Easy enough, right? Now you could also edit the team where the team plays, the team's uniforms, and the team's name. So basically, if you don't like a team, you could just switch it out to whatever team name, team color, team uniform you want it to be. Now, with that being said, you can also remove certain teams. Now, that is uh, something that I wouldn't recommend because I love the NBA and I love every team, even though some of the teams, like, their names are just ugh. But anyways, with that being said, you could also add up to six teams in the league by pressing by pressing, by pressing um, L1 and L or L2 and R2, and that's pretty much it for this screen. But let's go and move on yet again. Now we're at the bread and butter of what we want to do finally. But before we click start, make sure to go on setup options because if you don't turn on the fantasy draft, the teams are gonna come preset how they are made, and you're never gonna do a fantasy draft in that league again, and you're gonna have to start over from scratch. So the most important thing to do is turn on fantasy draft. Turn on draft order if you want, uh, draft type, fixed or serpentine, and uh, all these other settings except the fantasy draft, you could change mid-season if you want. You could change Hall of Fame settings, you could change rookie settings, and so forth. But with that being said, just turn on that fantasy draft and go and get started. One last thing, guys, if you want to see a how to make a custom roster video, make sure to leave 10 likes on this video to let me know that you want that done. And with that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Adios.